Hey, what's up everyone? This is Josh. Welcome to our video tutorial series on beginning iOS unit in UI testing. In this series, we'll cover the basics of XETest, the testing framework included in Xcode. We'll start with unit testing, including how to create a test target, write tests, create mocks, and more. We'll then cover user interface, or UI testing for short. This will include how to both manually write tests and how to get Xcode to do it for you. To wrap things up, you'll work through a hands-on example to learn about test-driven development. This series was made possible by an amazing editing team. This included tech editors Partho Biswas and Mars Kiwi and Final Pass editor Ray Winderlich. By all means, give them a follow on Twitter. Before we jump into what unit testing and UI testing are about, we need to address the question, why even test at all? There are several good reasons. Amongst them, unit tests and UI tests prove your code works as intended. By running your tests frequently, they'll also help to prevent bugs and regressions in your code base. Through writing tests, you'll also think more about the purposes and interactions of your classes. This results in living documentation that's always up to date. Whenever your code changes, your tests will need to change too. In this way, your tests serve as examples for how your code should work. Ultimately, however, the main reason we write tests is to create maintainable code that lasts. In order to write tests effectively, however, there are a few requirements. Mainly, your code must be testable. For example, if you have a gigantic class that does everything and anything within your app, it's going to be difficult to write tests for it. It will also likely be difficult to make changes to this sort of code base. Instead, tests encourage the idea of single responsibility. Each class should just focus on one thing. Tests also encourage loosely coupled classes. The easier it is to swap out a dependency, the easier it's going to be to test or even move away from that dependency in your code. This really helps when management decides they want to use that other vendor and expect you can make the switch in just one day, right? So far, we've been talking about unit tests and UI tests together. While they do often overlap, each serves their own purpose. Unit tests are intended to test small units of code. You'll frequently have tests that call a single method with a given input and expect a certain result. UI tests are meant for testing the user interface. These tests simulate how a user would interact with the app. This includes pressing buttons, scrolling, and so forth, and expecting a certain result to appear on screen. Unit tests and UI tests are most beneficial, however, when they're used together. That's it for this introduction. I hope you're as excited as I am about the rest of the series. Your challenge, should you choose to accept it, is to continue on to the next video, where you learn how to create a unit test target and write your first unit test. I encourage you to follow along with the demos of the video series, and also to do the challenges. This will give you the most practice with writing tests and enable you to write tests within your own applications. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.